subscribe. 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 You will be happy. Subscribe. Now. My name is Frederick Lenz. The Jelly of Nollywood. Hello guys, my name is Joe Kali, Nollywood actor. It's Malik Milton, the Nollywood actor. Hey. Yeah, it's your boy Ani Michael, a Nollywood actor. My name is Rachel Lukonkwa, a.k.a. Colin Wansu. I want to create a swagger in Yana Agona and I love my God, you know what you like. You know where you get the best of African content? The only channel that you can watch. The amazing, beautiful, intriguing, interesting. Wonderful movies, good stories. Movies filled with suspense, outstanding, spluffing. Even more amazing. And some bombastic movies is only when you log on to Nollywood Pictures TV. Nollywood Pictures TV. Nollywood Pictures. Nollywood Pictures. It's about our special time of the year. A time of love. A time to celebrate. I wish you a beautiful and Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas and prosperous. <laughs> Mama, Mama, why are you laughing? <laughs> nah, it's not funny, Mana. You will not kill yourself, eh? Huh? Listen and listen. Hmm? You will not kill yourself. If he says go to the guest room, nah, go to the guest room. Don't kill yourself over nothing. Eh? I told you earlier that some ladies are desperate and will do anything at any time just to get what they want. Mm. That guest room is still in your husband's house. Pack into that room and take your child along to save yourself and save your child. Inugo. Things will normalize. You know, just continue praying. What? Just calm down. Calm. Mm -mm. You will not kill yourself. Mm. I will lose everything. But I will not lose. What? Calm down. Oh, yeah, the mama. You know, go. Mm, calm down. Mm, what you seek? For the last time. Go and move your stuff to the guest room. If I use my hand and do it, I'll burn it all. I'll burn down everything. You know what I can do? Quietly, kindly go and move your stuff to the guest room for peace to reign. For the last time, oh. I will go and move them, my husband. Very simple. You know what to do, yet you, you want me to talk before you do it. Eh? You want me to talk before you do it. Well, come on. This one, she just accepted. Just like that. Is keeping her. Honey, honey. My friend, do this thing fast. Honey, listen. Let her take her time, okay? You see, my feet really hurt. I think they need to be massaged. No, wrong one. Let her just do the fast and go. So I'll have time to massage it.
wasting time just to pack one box. Can I live with another woman in this house and pretend that all is well? A total stranger is pregnant for my husband and she's living with me in the same room. My husband. I did not see my husband has plenty of time. Madam. Madam, can I say something? What is it? Do you believe in God? Do you believe that God can help you in this situation? Do you? I believe in God. I believe in Him. Then prayers. Prayers is the key. If you can pray and trust in God, He will not lose in this battle. Well, if you keep crying this way, you will give the devil a seat. And he will sit here forever. Please, madam, don't cry again, please. Please, don't. It's not good for you. I believe in God. I believe in God, but I did not ask for polygamy. It's okay, ma. It's fine. Let us go inside so you can rest a little. You're looking stressed. Please. Let's go. My father brought in another woman to the house when my mother was pregnant. <laughs> my mother cried and cried and cried the whole week that she fell sick. Guess what? She did not survive it. She died. And that was when our suffering began. 
We suffered. We told. We told. We grind, but there was no help. Why I'm saying this is because I don't want you to cry and and die. If 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 you die, that would be the beginning of Ikenna's suffering. Any other woman that comes into this house will definitely not take care of him the way you do. Madame, please, I'm begging you, please, for the sake of your son, stay strong. You, you remember what I told you the last time? Please, don't cry again. Everything will be fine. Please, ma. Take my wifey wannabe self out of this place because you're not welcome here. You hear me? Hey, madam, please. Shut up! Jesus. Are you okay? Oh, Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Are you okay? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. What is it? Is it true? Well, I'm busy. You can. That's all. I don't want you to get to your uniform when you get to school. Are you hearing me? Yes. Okay. Let's start with you. Good morning. Good morning. Come on. Mm. How are you? I'm are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. But who, not in your job, you're No. Oh, my, the blood of Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Mom, hmm? what happened? Nothing, I just... Nothing. Mama, well, has he eaten? Yes, ma. So it's just to uh, talk. Yes, the school bus has become... Okay. Yeah, pop off. Okay. I need to see you first thing tomorrow morning. 
Baby, come on, talk to me. What is it? Is it the money for the rent? But I already told you I will forward the money to your account this afternoon. It's not about money. Then what? I am pregnant. And I am not thinking about what's in it. What? You hurt me. I'm not thinking of having an abortion. Uh -huh. Uh, baby, come on, you should have been careful. I, uh... What? What did you say to me? You sit here and lecture me about being careful. You should have been careful. I didn't get myself pregnant, did I? Of course I know, but I'm just saying, I, at least you take something uh, after making out. Uh, uh... Wow. We, we, just, we just have to... We'll walk around this and, 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 and see what to do. Yes, I, I agree with you. We need to find a way to handle it. But while we're at it, abortion is a no-no. Yeah, it has to be a yes, yes, seriously. Of course you know, of, of course. You know it is a no-no completely and totally. What up, what up? Honey, can you stop? Let's go. Let's go. Let me. Ah. Hello, Dike. Yeah, Alpha. How's it going? What's the problem? What's the problem? Ha. You again. You want to tell me about this, your concubine? I guess that's what you want to tell me. If you want to tell me that she's pregnant this time. Really? You see? I thought I asked, I called you last week to ask you about this thing. If you were seeing any woman aside your marriage, you said no. Oh, you don't want your wife to hear about it. Why wouldn't you want your wife to, 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 to hear about it? Why don't you want your wife to hear about it? <laughs> My brother, see, you don't tell me that you love her. I know you don't. Seriously, you don't love her. Because if you love her, you wouldn't do all these things because now you're putting the life of that woman in danger. Simple. Just tell your wife the truth. That's my candid advice to you. Tell her the truth. That's the best thing you can do at the moment. Tell your wife the truth. Man, I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm driving. I guess we'll talk more later. I'll give you a call later. So we'll talk more about this. Take care. Bye. Why this guy they always put himself for trouble? Zero. Huh? This guy just put himself for trouble. Just imagine. How could you go and pregnant another woman aside your marriage? Oh my god. I pity the poor lady. This guy has gone through a lot in answer of this, my man. What did you just say? I, I don't believe you. I can't believe you make such big mistake. What? I'm serious, babes. I'm not joking. <sighs> Do you want to marry him? Can't. Can I possibly marry him? He has a wife. His wife is a very nice woman. Besides, I cannot even see myself being a second wife to any man. So what would you do with the baby now? I haven't made up my mind yet. My advice to you be very careful with the decisions you make, else you will shoot yourself on the foot. So, what do you think I should do? First of all, you do not even seem like someone who wants to hurt that child. So just make sure he's going to be ready to take care of you and the baby. 
that's it. I don't want to hurt my child. You're very correct on that. What did you just call me? I called you honey. Who is your honey? Me? Since when? <sighs> okay, I get. Uh, let me guess. Maybe you're planning on one of your business trips where you will have the opportunity to go with your mistress and have fun, right? My love, can you please stop saying that? Can't I call my lovely wife sweet names again? Huh? Can't I? You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. You're sweeter than honey. Yeah, you are. So what did you prepare for dinner? I prepared a goosey and pando. My favorite. <laughs> okay, come show me. I want to eat. Hmm? Come. Come. Try. I should come and show you. No, come and eat with me. I don't want to eat. I'm not hungry. You must have to eat with me. I can't eat alone. Why well, now? Come on, force me. <laughs> come, let's go. Hmm? I don't want to eat. Baby, sleepy head. Mm. Wake up. Mm? The breakfast is ready. Oh. Mm. oh, babe. I guess I overslept. Oh, yes, you did. EK is already in school. I got him ready. The school bus was here earlier to pick him up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go, Wakey. Thank Wakey, you. your breakfast is ready. Thank you so ready. much for taking the kids. Oh, babe. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time I had this kind of, what I call it, enjoyment of pleasure. <laughs> oh yes, anything for my baby. Just waking up from sleep and going to dining for your breakfast. It would have been breakfast in bed, but I was looking for the tray for that. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Sleep me head. Today is not for work. Today is for my wife. I want to spend quality time with my wife. When I mean quality time, I mean like quality time. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, really. This is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me, what would you want me to prepare for you? I could prepare potato porridge. You are going to like it. Or you tell me anything. Yeah. Tell me anything you want me to do for you. I'll do it right away. I just that I don't like potato porridge. I don't like it when it's cold. Okay, fine. So you, you tell me. Tell me anything. What do you want? Just just name it right now. You're going to have it. Really? Of course. Anything. Um, um, I... Mommy, um, just talk. Talk. What is it? I don't want to eat at home. I just want us to eat out. I just need this fresh air on trio. Okay, and out we shall eat. Okay? 
We're going to eat outside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. So, so we're going now. Yeah, let's go to your wardrobe and select the, the, the best clothes for you. Really? <laughs> of course. For my wife. <laughs> Time is back. Like those past years. <laughs> so, mm. you're welcome to my humble love. Humble what? Oh, this place is so beautiful. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> but it's going to be more beautiful when. When you, you start living here with me, you, you know what I mean. Oh, I don't know what you mean because I'm here already. Yes, I'm here to stay. So well, you're still going to go, I mean, when I wake up every morning. Then. I know, but for now, I'm here to stay. So come and show me the way to your bedroom. Okay. Um, come and show me the way to your bedroom. I need to pick it up. This way. I did. Oh my god! Babe, this is good. Like. You deserve everything more. Diamond, don't. Oh, babe. I'm certain that you're going to make my life beautiful. So you deserve everything gold, diamond, silver. <sighs> babe, now you're going to make me feel flattered. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, definitely. I will complete you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so I have to snap this at least I'll show my friends. Like this is beautiful. Anything for you. My husband is a changed man now. Hey! <laughs> hmm. I'm so happy, God. I thank you. Uh, honey, please be fast now. Please, huh. this restaurant people. I don't want them to know. So that there's no. took me to your mom. <laughs> Remember what happened? Yes. And we had a flat tire on our way home and you were screaming. <laughs> Where are I'm we? So Honey, take me out of here. I said, don't worry. I remember. My son, okay? He has gone to bed. Uh, can I bring your dinner? Dinner? No. And no, I have had a lot to eat, so no dinner. Thank you. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So it's
You have the most beautiful eyes ever seen. I'm sure I've told you that severally, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have. Thank you. You don't need to thank me, actually. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, baby, can I ask you something? Sure, go on. Okay. Before? Pick your call. Oh, the baby, it's not important. Just go ahead and tell me what you wanted to ask me. Don't worry about the call. So, what is it? You? Pick her call. Hello? I am not in the office, okay? I'm busy at the moment. Exactly. He is not in the office. He's not available. Can we go now? Sure. Ah, uh, but not until I tell my wife how beautiful she looks. You're actually the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. My wife. <laughs> hey, put a smile on that face. <laughs> Stop. Okay, let's go. Come here. God you're seeing is wonderful. Oh. Where are you coming from? Mono? Don't that. Can you imagine? Mm. This, this country is just funny. Mm. I was on my way coming back peacefully. Oh. Mm. Before you know it, police pulled me over. Mm. Why will I wear a gold wrist watch if I'm not a Yahoo boy? Mm. Before I know it, they bundled me inside their cow. That I'm a Yahoo boy that I cannot tell them anything that I'm a Yahoo boy. See, how, see the way I carved my beard. See, see my wrist watch. See, why, why, will I, why will I dress fine that I'm a Yahoo boy? Eh? On their way going out. Eh. It's God's grace, so one woman that saw me that recognized me that I'm a responsible married man. Eh. That was how they now told me to come down and leave. If not, I'll be in police netto. Eh? I'm telling you the fact oh. Very stupid and law lawless country. Just like that, oh. Mona. Hmm? When you are true with all your lies and rubbish talk, you will tell me where you're coming from. What's the meaning of that now? Which one is when I'm true with all the lies? I just told you what happened. Are you doubting me? Go to Postco Roundabout and ask now. You are talking rubbish! You have not told me where you're coming from. Mm. Anyway, I know you, you want trouble and I don't have time for trouble. I'm talking rubbish. Okay. I'm talking rubbish. Your husband just told you what he encountered just now. You're telling him that he's talking rubbish. I'm talking rubbish. No problems. I'm, I, don't, I don't have you. Mm. Did you lock the door? 